Hello, my name is Miltoid, and I'm going to talk you through today this anomaly that has appeared on Reddit of what appears to be a perfect cylinder on Mars. Now, I've seen lots of pictures posted before on Reddit, etc., of Mars rover pictures of creatures and anomalies of structures and so far all of them have been easy to explain away they've all been overlapping objects creating the illusion of a creature or just weird rocks um so i'm quite skeptical when it comes to these however this one really caught me off guard and i must admit at first i thought it was fake uh, until somebody shared the uh, link to it on the NASA website and that's what we're going to go through right now. So, and not only are we going to discuss this, we're also going to decode this and learn a little bit about image recording and decoding and encoding and how the Mars rover works and how we can process these raw photos that we're getting from NASA. So we're getting them raw and undecoded in what looks like quite a messy grayscale here. As you can see, it's artifacting. As we zoom in, it doesn't appear like a normal grayscale. It almost looks a bit like a CRT TV. Um, however, this pixel dispersion is due to an encoding type called Bayer, um, a Bayer filter. A Bayer filter essentially is a way of capturing RGB, red, green, blue. Um, it's a way of capturing color images um, on cameras. Most cameras actually work like this. However, usually they decode the image before you see it. So you wouldn't usually see this. However, we're getting them raw from NASA. I'm not sure why they're not decoding them themselves, although it's probably best that we get the raw versions. So at least we can interpret them ourselves as there are varying types of Bayer script. So I have from the NASA website, we have the original, it is Sol3556. It is captured on the mast camera of the Curiosity rover. Now, as you can see, the mosaic pattern that we were looking at before, right here. So a very brief rundown of Bayer can be found on uh, Wikipedia. We aren't going to go into this in too much depth so we can stay on topic. However, this is a quick picture that kind of explains how it works. Essentially, the color values are approximated based on the neighboring pixels. So each pixel requires uh, its neighboring pixel in order to deduce its color. They're all in relation to each other. One of those pixels alone, you wouldn't be able to discern the color from it. This is how we are getting a color image from a black and white grayscale. So I've written a quick script here, as you can see, and that is generating for me the color image, which was chucked out like this color great so there was some debate over the actual color of the cylinder whether it's really uh, metallic looking whether it's really kind of blue looking again this is all approximations we can't be 100 percent sure on this but this is as close as we are realistically going to get and is what i would say is quite a realistic look at it um so first we're gonna check this image out and just check how well the Bayer conversion has gone. As like I said, it's usually not perfect. Now, I don't want to taint the image at all. I just want to fix anything that's wrong with it, but I don't want to taint it with any of my interpretations of it. So if we check in the levels, as you can see, there's a complete flat line there and a complete flat line there. So moving these, we can clamp the values down and then we end up with a picture like this, which shows even clearer that this is peculiar. 
This isn't to say this is part of some alien spaceship or some underground Mars base. However, I think it's highly worthy of discussion and I really don't think we should just dismiss this outright. Obviously, Occam's razor tells us that this is most likely a very round rock. However, I challenge anybody to find another picture like this, really, in the Mars collection. I mean, look at this. Everything, everything, everything has come out orange. Everything. The only blue I can find is in small, small spots where the sun is kind of catching it. But then we have this absolute anomaly. Now, I've thrown this into um, a 3D art package called Maya just to see how well it lines up with an actual perfect cylinder. So I have my cylinder here. Let's just change the transparency of this bit. As you can see, it's a pretty damn good match. The only bit that kind of juts out is where the shadow is but that's not the actual shape of the cylinder jutting out that's just the shadow creating the illusion that it is as we can see the light is shining from behind this object um, so I've created my own scene just to really go through this visually I just think it's staggering I think it's absolutely fascinating there we go with the shadow let's just unselect that we go. So, what do you think this is? Is this part of a spaceship? Is this a sign of maybe an ancient destroyed civilization? Maybe some leftover ruins from a past era, age? Let me know what you think. <laughs> and if you appreciate the work that I've done here, please like, comment and subscribe. This is a new channel. I'm trying to put as much work into this as possible. Use my VFX experience. Um, I appreciate any engagement. That like goes a long way. All right. Thank you very much. My name is Miltoid. Peace.